What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and yes, iFile has been updated for iOS 7. I wasn't really expecting this today, I was just kind of, you know, doing my normal run through of Cydia and all the new tweaks and stuff, and it just so happened to pop up when Cydia refreshed for me, and it is updated now, as you guys can see with the new icon. I think it looks really, really nice. I love that new icon. There it was blown up for you guys. So here it is with its all new iOS 7 look, as you guys can see the uh, menu bar at the bottom there uh, is totally different than it was before. You know, the top bar, bottom bar, everything's all updated. It looks really, really good in my opinion. Um, for some reason, I'm still having issues with the registration status. I do have the full paid version with Insidia, and uh, it just won't register my device. I'm not really sure what the issue is. I'm sure it's probably going to be a update in the near future, uh, so hopefully they push that out uh, soon as well. But it's nice to see, you know, the all-new look with it is very, very welcome. Um... For those of you that don't know what iFile is, I'm not going to do a full review of it in this video, but basically it allows you to browse the entire file system of your device and you can change stuff and, uh, you know, like if you download stuff from Safari, uh, there's certain areas within iFile it will be downloaded to and it's just an essential tool, especially for anybody that's into creating themes or even, you know, tweak developers. This is something that uh, you just kind of want on your device. You can get it for free. And like I said, there is a full paid version, which allows you to have like multiple windows. As you can see, that's disabled right now because it's not registering. But uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead into Cydia, and I'll show you guys where to get it. If I can click Cydia, jeez. So now once in Cydia, all you have to do is search for iFile. As you can see, the icon within Cydia is still not updated. Uh, it says unable to purchase, uh, not supported on your iOS device. I'm not really sure. It lets you install it. Uh, I think it's just, you know, for that registration stuff, there's just something uh, not right with it quite yet. But you can still download it, use the free version. The free version, you can do basically almost everything you can do with the paid version. Uh, just, you know, a couple limitations towards that. But anyways, uh, it's, it's free unless you want the full paid version, which you can't get yet. It is from the Big Boss repo, as you guys can see right there. It is updated to match iOS 7. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this quick update video of iFile, definitely throw me that thumbs up. That does help me out a lot here at the channel. Also, if you guys want to see more iOS 7 jailbreak tweak and app coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.